So we've got the entire soup from the web page, uh, which is actually the source code. And we also got the source code of the divisions with class property row. And now we were able to grab the property price for only the first division. So for only the first box here. And now to get all the boxes, we need to iterate. So DD to delete that. And for, let's say, item in all. Okay. And actually, I'd like to keep the all printed out here so that you can see uh, what all is. So if you forget of, of that for a moment, you're able to, to see what it is. So it's like a list. So for item in all, let me go here. So we'll be using the print method here. But I'd like to write it at the end because I don't want to add brackets now there. So it's good to have less brackets for now. Uh, for you to, to see uh, this more clear, the code, the actual code. So we are going through the first item, which is this division here, and we want to apply the find all method to that item, or just the find method, because we have only uh, one h4 here. So find, and we want to find the h4, uh, which has a class of prop price and then what we want to get from this uh, product is the text and you saw that the text was a bit messy there so we want to replace the backslash ends uh, with nothing and then another replacement there so there was space and replace that with nothing so it's the same line as here and then you want to print this out so add the print statement there. And yeah, that's it. Let's see how this goes. Hmm, that was fast. So 725, 452. Yeah, that's good. All right. Let me delete this to save some space. So we have all, all already def defined here. So we don't need to add it here. And let's go now and extract uh, this zero gateway doesn't look very a good example. So let's ignore that and extract this uh, address here. So Winchester Boulevard. And that would be inspector. Mm -hmm. So that has a span tag with a class of probe address collapse. Uh, but you can see that you also have another class here, prop address collapse. So two classes. This is the, the address, and this is the name of the town. And look if we have other prop address collapses there. No, no, we don't. So prop address collapse. Let's add another uh, statement here. Item. So those addresses are inside this all method again. So item find. Now if you use find this time instead of find all, uh, what the script will do is it will grab the first occurrence of prop address collapse. So it will give you the uh, Winchester Boulevard address and it will ignore the second one. So it will ignore Oak Springs. So that means uh, we need to use find all and if you want to get this first line you you'd want to pass the zero index to this uh, result set list and then an index of one for the next line so we'll do that uh, that was a span tag with a class of again prop address collapse so uh, let me print this out to see what we have for this for so here is the price of the first property and then we grab the result set list in here which actually has two uh, elements 
So uh, the address here and then the name of the town uh, with the state code here and zip code. So that means we need to apply here a zero index if you want to get the first one. Okay. And then uh, let's see. So here is the first one, the first element. If you want the second one, you want to copy that and paste it here and pass one here. Execute. And here we go. Uh, I guess you want the text, so you want to apply the text method there. Hmm, <laughs> great. And just for the sake of visibility, let's add another line at the end of the loop uh, to pass an empty string. <laughs> so now you can see the, the blocks more clear. And we've got 10 blocks there. Quite awesome, isn't it? So let's go now and extract the number of bats and the number of baths. So that is a span tag with a class info bed. And baths. Here is the other span class info value full bath. Now here we got an issue. Now uh, we need to be careful here because we need to grab the number of the bats here uh, which is inside b tags. But the number of baths is also inside b tags. So you can go ahead and apply a find all method uh, directly in this level. So directly uh, under all uh, but that should probably cause some problems because you have multiple bees there <laughs> and so you've got also the area which should be a bit tag as well span class yeah it's a bit tag so sometimes you have three bit tags sometimes you have more so there may be two solutions there you can either assume that bats are always the first ones and you can pass uh, an index of zero to the result set list so you get bats and then you get full bats uh, with an index of one and two for this uh, square feet here and three for this but i would prefer to do it in a more constructive way so i'd like to uh, go and extract the these uh, span tags first and then i go inside each of the span tags and extract the value inside the B tag. So we've got span for info bed and for full baths, which is this one here. Yeah, actually this is listed as the third one. So beds are the first one, and square feet, uh, the area is the second, and then full baths and so on. So we don't have to think about the order of them. Uh, we only need to grab the class names. So info bed. Uh, that means you want to access item find. Just find in this case. So you want to find the span. And let's do first the beds, which was info bed. Uh, let's print that out first to see if we are good to go and so you get none for the first uh, property so this doesn't have any data for beds and baths so you can't do anything about that you just need to accept no data sometimes and then here is the code so the source code for the next one now here's a trick, if you apply the text method to this object, so it should be here, dot text, you will get an error. And look closely what the error says, so it says non type object has no attribute text. And that non type object was this here, so none. 
which is a spatial object and it doesn't have a text method available uh, so you need to count uh, for that and the way you count for these exceptions is by using a try and accept statement so you need to enclose this print statement here with try so try this if it works if it doesn't do this other stuff here so which is pass so just ignore this non types there so again try to get actually the text method out of uh, this span tags and if that is not available then just pass to the next iteration of the loop so let's try that and yeah now it's working now as you can see we got the text for the bit tag but also the text of the span tag so this is the text of the bit tag and this is the text of the span tag so if if that's fine for you you can leave it like that but i'd like to have the plain number only and to do that you need maybe apply the find method so we have again Uh, we have this source code, so we need to find inside that source code. We need to find the B tag, and which doesn't have a class name, so we leave it like that. And uh, we need to extract the text out of that B tag, and that gives you the number only, so four, four, five, and so on. So that's good. Now let's do the same. So I'll copy this block entire and we'll do the same for the number of baths. Let's make a space here. And for the number of uh, that was so the, the area size and this other thing here. So half baths. So we will count for that too. So info square feet, info square feet there would go here like that. And then we have info value full bath. And one more for the half baths. So that would be info value half bath. Execute. And we've got an annotation problem there. So try this one is good. And this one is not good here as well. So you need to indent the statements after try and the statement after except. So execute and let's see hmm, good so four bats and then four baths there but then here we got the area or the property so the order is not very good like this in that case uh, we don't want to uh, write pass here but maybe we want to print none those cases so print non print none and same here execute and now it looks better so now we know the order that we know that we have four ba uh, four bats in this property and the area size is not available and then we have four baths and then uh, we don't have any information about the half baths there so that is looking good and i'd like to stop here and get some more data in the next lecture yeah let's move on